All right, as you've seen from my little 30 second or 60 second video before, we were crimping these brand new hoses, making up the hose ends. This is a vintage air system that's installed in. Last minute, really fast, he's taking off. It's the owner's wife's car who's going on a cruising thing over in the bay with old hot rods and stuff like that. But it's a black car with black interior with no insulation on the firewall with a hopped up hot engine. And they converted it from a stick shift to a manual uh, automatic transmission. And so you got all that hot tranny fluid in the whole case is hot. So all the heat radiates in the car. So air conditioning is a must. And I'm just performing the high pressure nitrogen decay test. Nothing there. I filled it up on the high side. Now I'm going to drain it on the low side because we're using it as a flush. And I evacuated it before I put high pressure nitrogen in it. And now I'm gonna evacuate it again. It's all brand new equipment, all the vacuum plugs, everything was sealed and tight from, from the kit. So nothing had air exposed to it. When all the plugs came out of everything, you got that little hiss of dry nitrogen in the system. He just assembled it and he's actually closed today and we're just like, I'm running over here. Did the crimp real fast, do a evacuate, charge and let him go. So uh, they could get ready to go do their thing last minute in a hurry all right guys we'll jump back to this one and this is an old expansion valve system and let's see what this low side does pay attention when i get this running to the low side and what happens on this vehicle is normal <laughs> 